Hello, Virgos and Libras. Welcome to this August cusp reading for people born on the cusp between Virgo and Libra. We're going to be taking an oracle message from Libra, or sorry, from Virgo and from Libra, a tarot message from Virgo and from Libra, and then that will get us to our overall message for you guys moving forward through August. Okay, so let's start on the Virgo side. I hope you guys are all well and doing good. Thank you for checking out these videos and for leaving a little comment or a little share or a subscribe. That means the world to me. It keeps me going. I hope a lot of people will be interested in these readings, these cusp readings, because, you know, you guys get forgotten about quite a bit. All right, you guys, let's make sure there's only one. Yeah, for from what's coming in from Virgo is number six mountain okay so this is up to you guys to find a way around some sort of obstacle right now you're looking to either go through it go around it go you maybe climb over it whatever doing what it takes uh when we see the mountain we always know that it usually is a symbol for something that some s stands to be between us and what we want okay or it's also when we say as high as the mountain tops this, for some of you, is a, a good time for reflection and to see how far you have come, okay? So that is the message coming in from Oracle on the Virgo side. On the Libra side, we'll go and we'll check over here with Wisdom of the Oracle to see what's coming in from Libra. I love these two decks. They work so well together just from the same creator, even though they're not... Uh, it just worked out perfect for doing these cusp spreads. Let me know what you guys think of these. Um, it, like I said, it's just kind of a new idea. I was bouncing around. Okay, from Libra, you guys have pulled card number 33, Chaos and Conflict. And being Libra, the balance between, right? Um, this is a very progressive number, though, 33, a very good number. And this card is of Chaos and Conflict. Is just something showing that there could be a loss of identity at this time that could have led to some chaos and conflict. Chaos is an interesting word. I usually, uh, when I think of chaos, I, I always think of the weather, of like stormy weather. Um, conflict, on the other hand, that word for me, it tends to give me a feeling of more like um, struggling to see, struggling to identify, struggling to meet an expectation. Um, usually set by oneself so the feeling i have on this card coming in from the libra side is like be careful the standard you set for yourself and not meeting it like if you think you need to be better at something or if you're feeling discontent or uncomfortable just in in where you're at right now it's best to try and let that go and if you're conflicting with another party involved in your external environment the conflict always exists for a reason it's always to mirror that which you are supposed to um, realize, to understand, right? Even though you might be right, making a certain amount of peace maybe give you an understanding just to allow some something that was fated to, to happen. You don't, If you're directly standing in the way of it and it's adverse to you and you're not understanding why, sometimes it's better just to sort of step aside, okay? That's that feeling coming in from Libra. Let's stay on the Libra side and see what's coming in through the tarot message from the Libra side. Tarot message for Libra for people born on the cusp. All right, between Virgo and Libra. This is for Virgo and Libra cusp. Okay, tarot has the three of swords. So coming in from the Libra side, this could be um, a conflict here where um, loyalties were split. Um... Uh, Commitments could have been broken, and there could have been some sort of a mental, emotional crossover, where chaos and conflict could be internal between the heart and the mind at this time. That's what this is saying, okay? Now, it's almost the feeling is that some of you are watching this are having to try and overcome that, all right? To get, to maybe forgive yourself, forgive somebody else, or if not, you're not at that stage yet, at least to be able to let it go, to find out where it is that you need to be, how it is that you need to apply yourself so that this sort of stuff does not affect you anymore, okay? Um, I feel that Libra, there are, what's coming in here is definitely something that, you know, if you, when you mull it over in your mind, all it is is like, ugh, good grief, like, this is this is kind of like painful or hurtful type energy, right? 
Um, so the Virgo side is almost saying we need to try and balance that out. We need to try and find a way to get through this, to get around this conflict, all right, uh, to, or to go through this conflict. You might just need to um, face the music on something here, or somebody might need to face the music with you, potentially, um, but confront it, right? Reveal it to heal it kind of thing. The mountain is just si kind of saying, like, it's not this insurmountable obstacle, whatever this is that you're going through. Uh, this is more like something where you need to find a way to get yourself around it or get yourself past this as a, like a valuable even like life lesson or spiritual lesson or something that brings you in finer tune with your emotions and your higher self and uh, and kind of like identifying with the, how you're seeing yourself even in this type of situation. We got a couple here. Wow. So the lovers, there are issues of trust here and issues of like how do we move past this person how um and if if i let go of this will will i be able to find some level of happiness somewhere else right something of that nature the it's almost like the virgo side is willing to take a chance it's willing to trust it's willing to have faith but this libra side is letting is sort of like hanging on to the fact of like um there needs to be competition or uh conflict or some sort of um you know, aggressive struggle, I feel, um, that needs to occur, right? And it could be harsh words that are about to be spoken. For some of you, will fall into that. And for some of you, you might just need to trust in yourself that you are right when approaching a situation or if you are in conflict with others about an opinion at this time. Very, very opinionated cards, almost a feeling I have is like two people's energies that are not like really like resonating with one another this would must be a very difficult cusp to be born on like just this sense i'm feeling when reading for the cusps for the first time there are probably a lot of um you out there that have grown exponentially in spirit um in mind and in emotion in this lifetime through the certain lessons and the things that i'm feeling or sensing for you guys and for this august for this to this stuff to be showing up this could be something that I've just kind of like jumped in on and it could have been ongoing for quite a long time with you is the feeling I have, okay? But let's have a look here at the best path to fall from uh, the Dreamers, Gaia Dreamers Tarot. This is an 81 card tarot deck. I thought it would be perfect for the cusp, right? Throw in a few extra cards there, see what's going on. And you guys have pulled, uh, this is number 12, The Scribe. And I believe this is like a knight of swords. This card is what relates to in a traditional tarot, right? So there's uh, maybe harsh words being spoken at this time. Maybe accusations are flying about loyalties at this time. Uh, maybe like I get this sense like somebody could be just be saying like, um, you know, I'm, I'm better off this way or, or you'll be better off, like that kind of thing. It's almost like... There could be people fighting right now and somebody's like taking record of maybe like text messages or things that have been said. Uh, so be careful if you're like in a divorce situation where there's children involved or you're fighting for custody or alimonies or things of this nature here. You're going to have to kind of watch to make sure that your, your integrity behind your words or that mm, you're speaking the truth. Right, the feeling here is is that your words are going to be measured. They're going to be held up to some some sort of higher thing to say, okay, ha has the truth come out here, and something of that nature. Okay, excuse me. There was some bottled up energy. Somebody's got to get something off their chest here. Okay, guys, that's just the feeling I got. All right, let's just ask for one clarifier here for best. We got last or one. You get three, right? Okay, so here's this air thing again. So whatever's going on here can't remain this way forever. There's got to be some sort of uh, revelation or this plane, uh, this airship has got to become grounded at some point and face a reality, face a certain situation as well for a lot of you. And remember that where you have forgiveness, forgiveness will be held for you. Um, when sometimes, you know, you become authentic and you, you get into your sort of your higher senses, your your true benevolent uh, sense of just being 
kind and loving, then there is uh, beauty and good luck to be had from this card of the clover. All right? And as well, for some of you, this could be a decision. There could be a decision following all of this or leading up to all of this, okay? So I hope that reading helped you. That was a weird one for me, just getting into these cusp readings. Um, I love you all, and we'll see you next time.